fare for Stephen Mackis of Blakesley. Normal until he got to the parking lot ready to leave on his motorcycle. He saw a helicopter hovering about 100 feet away. Why is he hovering above the cars like that? And then I seen it spin around a couple of times. And then I seen it was going down and I knew it wasn't recovering. And that's when I yelled for everybody to watch out. And then it came, it went down on its uh, left side. And then the propeller kicked in and started shredding cars. According to Bloomsburg police, a pilot and two passengers were inside the helicopter when it crashed around 730. Jennifer Zielowitz of Trout Run and Maria Porta Latin of Williamsport were treated and released from the hospital. The pilot, Kenny Cordry, is in critical condition. Mackis helped them get out. I broke the glass away so, and then he was making good progress crawling out. And that's when I went back and got the girl out. Mackis tells Newswatch 16 he wasn't thinking at the time. He just acted. He wanted to get the people out in case the helicopter caught fire. Because you could smell the fumes of the fuel that was heavy in the air. So that's why I figured out you get them out. The Federal Aviation Administration and National Transportation Safety Board are investigating what went wrong. Mackis doesn't want to speculate, but says the pilot should be commended. He was able to hover that down to like car height and almost land on the cars. And that's when he went to the one side and then the blade kicked in and started throwing pieces everywhere. But they only fell maybe 10 foot. Fair officials tell Newswatch 16 they have not yet decided whether helicopter rides will be available at next year's fair. President, fair President Paul Reichert says that he does not think the attraction should be here next year. Nikki Cries, Newswatch 16, live in Bloomsburg. Nikki, thank you. City Hall in Lockhaven.